Hi, my channel name is Second Era of Moles, and if you have clicked on this video accidentally, 90 seconds is all I ever ask. This is Temple of No. Um, I know literally nothing about it, but it said no in it, so I went for it. Temple of No! Hello. This story may frighten and disturb you. Do you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face? Perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Hmm, do I have those? Yes, I do. Too brave enough to hear it? Brave like a storm, a bear, a sailor, a bear, yes. Enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Uh, yes. It says Temple of No, though, so maybe No? Oh, it just it takes me back to Google. That's funny. Yes. Good. This is a story that took place a long time ago. It's a good one. I like good stories. A big fat book. Anyway, let's get out of this old dusty tomb, tomb, tome, and hear of this fantastic tale. It's called <laughs> The Brave Explorer, The Jungle of Doubt, and The Temple of No. Like a bear. Rawr. Okay, so this is a magical book. Its magic power is to be incredibly relatable. Are you a woman, a bloke, or a frog? Gotta go with the frog. Okay, I'm gonna level you. You're playing the real game here. I had to write a whole load of bullshit about subverting the expectation of the twine game for the man and woman options. And to be honest, I don't think those jokes are brilliant. This frog story is actually genuinely what this whole game is about. In fact, I'm going to stop putting any actual effort into writing the other branches of dialogue, and I'm going to focus entirely on this one. Well done for picking the interesting option. Thanks, game. I hope you like it. Uh, let's go! Old the fearless frog lived in Slimy Bottom, a small fishing village down in the heart of Yorkshire. Yorkshire, Yorkshire. It paddled a small boat around and ferried small animals to and fro from each side of the pond. And on Sundays, it paddled down to the animal market and buy twelve fly cakes, one for each of its tadpole children. Ah! But this Sunday was different. There was a strange taste in the air as it paddled down the stream. It knew it in its cold-blooded froggy heart that it missed the days of wild adventure. In its youth it had travelled the world and explored new non-froggy non -froggy areas. Many of its discoveries had shaped the development of frog culture and frog history, but after enjoying the quiet life, Frogo knew it was time to step foot in the wild adventure once more. Into the bridge! Now here's a crash course on our frog's old adventure history. The fearless frog lost an eye in a massive fucking fight with a puppy. Killed the <laughs> and it is one badass frog. Don't fuck with the frog. It once travelled to Antarctica and stole 22 penguin eggs. 22! This is a master of stealth and it could sneak up and even break your neck easily. Really easily. Okay, there's nothing there. Really easily. Frog legs over here jumped over an entire fence, like a human sized fence, to escape frog prison compounds set up by the UK government after Frog uncovered their evil plot to attempt to rig the frog relations. <laughs> it then went back and saved all the other frogs, and you should be thanking its froggy eyes. Okay, you ready? Let's go, let's get down straight into the story. Ooh, look at those eyes. Fucking jungle transition and audio. You notice this? Depression Quest didn't have this. Don't know what depression quest is. Right. Right, let's go. Right into the story. The fearless frog entered the jungle of doubt on its journey to find the map that sees all things that ever have been or will be, but in map form. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know the old tales. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Anyway, so the fearless frog knew its proper knew it proper wanted the map to tell it the secrets of the universe. If it brought the map back to civilization, it would truly achieve greatness. It knew in its cold-blooded, slimy frog cup. The temple that held the map was close. <gasps> Tree of Uncertainty, the Skull of Steve. <laughs> the Swamp of Suspicion, Jungle of Doubt. It's got a cut on its froggy arm. The fearless frog looked up, down, and all around. Uh, let's look all around. All around at the jungle surrounding it. It had to cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris in order to get to the temple that it was going to cut. Shoop. As the fearless frog cut through the leaves and brush, it 
thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life, life was futile. Sing a little song, I think. <laughs> you, the player, must sing along to the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you've let down the uh, cuts in the leaves and pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. My name is Phyllis Strong and I am singing a song to take up the time while I travel along the path to the Temple of No. That is where I'm going to go. I'm cutting the leaves and pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. I'm going on an adventure today. This game is really, really fun to play. Trying games can be fun, I will shout. Check out me singing in the jungle of doubt. Oh Jesus, no, I'm not doing all of that. If you didn't sing the song, please go back up and try again. If you did sing the song, well done. I am cool. I'm what now? I am cool now. <gasps> I've been waiting all my life to be cool. The fearless frog wasn't there yet. It had much more jungle to cut through. So it... I'm going to think about some shit. Fearless Frog thought about how its feet were hurting in it. It wished it had brought Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe. Trademark for us, which is a trademark of shoes breathing, dirt, talk, ill, dot, okay, and something like that. It continued to think. Fearless Frog thought about how its nose was itchy. It brought those Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe. Registered trademark, not legible by outside the European Union, and only eligible in North Africa. It would likely have been... Such comfortable feet that wouldn't be bothered by Amiga nosage. He continued to think, Geox, shoes that breathe. Fucking hell, Fearless Frog thought. Still a ways to go. Consider the possibility that life. Then it remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about, and so it thought about itself doing a little dance. And making a little love? Do I have to dance as well? And enough of that. Finally, the fearless frog stops imagining things. What a weirdo. It did it all. Thought about some shit. Sang a little song. Considered pop the fist speed and blah 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 blah. Yes, light! Temple. That's a handy dandy sign right there. The frog emerged from the jungle and saw. The Temple of No! The fearless frog marveled at its, at its magnificence. Probably built by the Aztecs, dude. And not the Bristol Aztecs. Actual Aztecs from Aztecia. Like, this is big. Anyway, let's climb some stairs. There's a lot of stairs. Eh, up, up, up the stairs we go. And then. The temple. Right, so it's temple time, eh? Remember, the explorer's oath. Look, do not touch. To bad touch, bad touch, don't touch. The fearless frog carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. It arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. Yeah, three. I get it. That's one plus two. Or two plus one. Or one times three. Or four minus one. Right. It's... <laughs> time, everybody. Left, middle, or anti-left. There's a nice skull there. Does it have a bomb? It was gonna put it in a box. What's a box gonna do? I'm gonna go for... Oh, who could resist? Anti-left. Oh, dude, in this room there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember that game, Snake? I remember that. Remember how I had an actual gameplay? Can't make Snake and Twine, can you? <laughs> no, but let's talk to the snakes. Hey, snakes. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though. Unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure. I don't either. So that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if you got you scared. Back in here, I guess? Ooh. Let's go middle. Middle and leg. So the fearless frog entered the big old big room. Okay, wow. Monsters in here. Let's climb them. Climbing up, up. Yes. Remember back at the game when you pick Sailor Storm, blah blah, yeah. Those were good times. I went for bear. 
<laughs> Mona, run! Oh, there's danger for you, there's danger for you, excited! Scream if you want to progress to the next session of the game. Ah! All right, anyone else wants to try? Oh yeah, boy, the Venus frog is bad at this chore she's in big. <laughs> Am I right? Left. He bows to the left. He bows to the anti-left. That Mitchell Johnson, his bowling is left. Oh wow, it's the spike room. Remember Spike Milligan? No. Vaguely. Let's Google him. Search Google. Spike Milligan. Oh. Bit before my time, I think. Nope. Good. Webster's Dictionary defines spike as a very large nail. 2A. One of a row of pointed iron placed at, as on the top of a wall, to prevent passage. One of several metal projections set in the sole and the heel of a, sh of a shoe to... No, wait, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm, turn back around. Okay, so no doors led to the right path. Can no door truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps this is the meaning of the tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, shake a bunch of rooms, and still you'll never find what you were looking for. Wow. Makes you think, eh? Makes you think. Now I'm thinking about food. The end? Ah! No way, there's another door over to the right. Let's do it. Throne room entrance. <laughs> I like this. The fearless frog entered the door and found the great leader's chamber. On the seat was... Nice to meet um, you too. Sorry, one sec, let me just... Uh. That's fine, take your time. Right. You um, get nice and comfortable. Um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, nice. Uh, hello. Hi. Right, hello. My Hi. name is... I am fucking Keith. Hi, uh, Keith. And I am... Uh, well, uh, I'm the guy in the throne. I'm the, I'm the bloody, bloody Aztec god, I suppose. Um, Aztec god. Funny... Funny story, you look like you kind of come from civilized society, I think. Um, but I'm waiting yeah, for the funny so part. I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman. I, 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 I went past kind of size six uh, before, before I got to size seven, and then you know, got the, the next. So thing, six and a half. Bloody well, no, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, the, the, the people. Why? Who are these people? Uh, I've not seen anyone around here. Um, so I sang a song and everything. You know, that, that's, that's my back story. I know it is a bit of a... Well, well it wasn't a track for me, you know. The fucking between size and six. Uh, six and seven uh, size shoes in, 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 my, in my shoe shop. Okay, we've listened long enough. Shut up, dude. And listen some more and proceeded to ask for the map. There we go. He doesn't sound very angry. Why not? I'll kill you for it. I will stab you right in your face. I can't, no. Kill him. Yeah, I've got a knife. Yes. Little did he know, in killing the great leader, TM, he, it would become the great leader, TM, and violate the explorer's oath. No! Look, but do not touch. Uh, how could the fearless frog have forgot the explorer's oath? It was très important. Français! Ah, uh, now as its new great leader loyalist approached, ready to worship as, uh, as their new god, Frog had to decide right here, right now, if it would break fast and totally just be a cool room in the jungle, grab the map and escape back to Civilization 5. I've got kids, man! Grab the map. And that's what it did. 
That's what the fearless frog did. Or should I say... That's what I did! Yay! Oh, and I hung up the knife. That's right, fools. I'm the old fearless frog. And that shit happened to me. I don't know what lessons I learned, or if I learned any lessons at all, but I got the map. I got it. Look at that map. And it's given me many pieces of insight. And because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. The wisdom is... Have you ever played a good game made in Twine? Like, one that's actually good, not just good for a Twine game. I don't know what a Twine game is. That's it. It's the end. Thanks for playing. Designed and illustrated by Dominic Johan. Written and voice acted by William Pugh. Produced by Kevin Patterson. Posted on itch.io. For more games and surprises, join the secret email club. It's shh, secret. We're acting on more games. Blah, 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 blah. Click here to play again. Your friend said crows, crows, crows. So, that was the Temple of No. If you made it past the 90 second mark, thank you very much and congratulations. If you made it this far, maybe you're willing to go a little bit further. You can follow me on Twitter, I'm at Rainmaker and 12 or you can subscribe to the channel and get notifications of more videos. But thank you very much for watching this one, and goodbye.